And now let's watch the boys' record-setting relay team. Race called by James Shaw and filmed by Tom Bull. Okay, this is a 4x440 four relay. And we're off. It's Watch Houston against St. John's. Koki Nguyen out in front right now against Carl Dragstad of St. John's. It's a close race. Nguyen out in front. They can cross over after they get right by this spot. It's now crossover. Nguyen out in front for Wachusett. Tony Belsito getting ready to take the handoff for Wachusett. Nguyen about 10 steps ahead of Dragstad. And now Belsito takes off. St. John's gaining on Belsito. Belsito maintains his lead. Belsito coming around the turn, getting ready to hand off to Eric Runstrom. Here's the handoff. It's Runstrom against Chris George Ulis of St. John's. George Ulis starting to gain on Runstrom. Rushroom still in front. It's neck and neck. Rushroom will not give up the lead. He will not let George Julius pass him. Everyone in this gym is on watching this event. George Julius still unable. Final lap for George Julius and Rushroom. A lap left to go for Rundstrom. Rundstrom getting ready to hand off to Jay Gallant. And now the final leg to run to Rundstrom hands off to Gallant. Three laps to go in this four by 440. Final leg. St. John's gaining on Gallant. Gallant will not budge. Two laps left to go. And now St. John's looking for a pass. Gallant still ahead. Gallant refusing. Final lap. Final lap here. The 4x440 relay. Gallant still up in front. Gallant half a lap to go. Gallant taking a few steps away from St. John's. Gallant coming close to the win. And down the stretch. And Gallant wins the 4x440 four relay for Wachusett Regional. Jason Rasko, shown there and also shown here, was also part of a record-setting 4x440 four relay team, as was senior Tom Champlin. Fabulous year for Wachusett track. Jay Gallant, who was the team MVP, is shown here finishing up a record for himself, a 50.8 in the 440. This was a school record, and he also set the outdoor record. For the girls' team, Stephanie Bunker, outstanding, set a 50-yard record in indoor track. 50-yard dash, Bunker one of the top track stars. Bill Uliano capped off a brilliant career as he set school records in the shot put. Uliano will go down as one of the top shot putters ever. Harry Johnson, a senior, get into the act in the pole vault as he helped Wachusett win the Central Mass Decathlon Championship, although Johnson was unsuccessful on this jump. Senior Kristen Ratliff won the State Discus Championship, had an outstanding career for Wachusett. She also was the top student in her class and won numerous student achievement awards. She'll be long remembered. For the boys' tennis team, Jay Brown was outstanding. He led the boys' team to the district championship. Brown played number one singles and was outstanding throughout his career at Wachusett. Also playing outstanding tennis for the boys was senior John Power, who combined to make up a district championship doubles team. Amy Brockelman for the girls also had a brilliant career. She played number two singles and helped Wachusett win three straight district championships. We're back with uh, Amy Brockham and Amy, another victory today. How do you stand so far this year, Amy? Uh, it's 
Personally? Personally. Uh, 11 and 2. See, so the last two, 111. Big year. The girls are still undefeated in Yeah, we're undefeated so far. Well, let's hope Looking you can for a good season. go all the way. Win the district this year. Yep. That's uh, right. Great job, man. Great job. And that's just what the girls did as senior Kate Levine capped off her four-year career as number one singles player. Kate never lost a singles match during regular season play. She set a record that will probably never be broken at Wachusa. Three straight singles titles. Levine's highlight was being named honorary captain of the Worcester Telegram and Gazette Girls Tennis All-Star Team. Kate Levine, long remembered for Wachusa Tennis. The boys' baseball team also had a fine 11-9 record. Here's senior Scott Anderson, who was their top pitcher of the show, making another double play. The boys' team was led by senior Neil Babiak, who was a TNG All-Star and the leading hitter on the team. The boys' golf team also had a fine year, led by seniors Paul Murphy and Carl Martin. The boys came within one point of winning the district title. And for the girls' softball team, senior Trisha Shimkus topped off a great career by making it to the TNG All-Star team and leading her team into the district playoffs. It was altogether a great year for Wachusett Spring Sports. Hi, I'm Kelly Mitchell. I'm Sherry Demar, Kristen Carello, Becky Pomelo. Andre Bissett will go down as one of the top pie eaters of all time. As a two-time winner of the Winter Carnival Pie Eating Contest, Andre was totally unbelievable. Let's watch Andre in some action. And meet some of the other pie eaters. Hi, I'm Andy Matlock, back at the Pie Eating Contest with two-time winner Andre Bissett. And give us a few clues on how you ma uh, managed to maintain such a great record. Well, I take the direct approach. Take your forehead, jam it in a pie, smush the stuff around as much as you can, and just inhale it. Close your eyes and put it down. was always a wild and very gross event. What a way to make money. Let's look back at some of the best dunks. 
As you'll see, a lot of our seniors will do anything to get rich. Guy Anderson, Eric Rundstrom. This year's annual lip sync contest has to rank as the best ever. Of course, 91 is number one. Why should the lip sync be any different? Let's take a look of, at some of the top performances of this year.
Mark Falcone, we're here at the first edition of Star Search here at Wachusa Regional High School. What do you have to say, Steph? Well, it's going to be just like the one on TV. There are going to be dancers and male models and female models and some vocalists. Hi, I'm Rosinda Jaleel, and it's going to be a great show. It's the first one we've ever had, and I think we're going to interview some people and see some of the acts. And as you can see, we're all going to be in the show. So if you're not here, you're really missing out. All right, hold on. Let's grab Mr. Tarkian in here. He's a them grab me than, okay. than you. All right, could you explain to us what you're going to be doing here tonight? Uh, I'm on an ego trip. Uh, anytime there's a chance to speak in front of a microphone, in front of an audience, whether I can see them or not, I'm ready to speak. 
they really didn't want me tonight. I demanded that I be here because I have to always be like in the limelight. Who has been the most influential person in your life and why? Well, to answer that question, I'd have to say uh, my grandmother. Even though we've had a few rough times, uh, she's helped me a lot, such as tonight on how to turn. She's taught me always to stick with my studies, never give up in life, and treat everybody equal. Um, give a fair chance to every opportunity comes up and take part as much in life as you can because once you're over your peak, that's it and it'll be gone by. Good evening, we're here at the Worcester Marriott. It's May 18th, 1991, and we're at the senior prom. This is Malcolm Azadorian. Right, and his how you doing? This is, how you doing? This is history in the making. And when I slap on the Japanese octopus, there is no escape tonight here at the Marriott in Worcester. This is my date, Amy. Amy, give them a word. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> this is my date, Mary Del Judas. She's, cla what, she's a class of 1990, and uh, we're going to have a good time tonight, Mr. Ethier, I promise you. Brother, 
Naturally. 